Hi, this is Joseph Shabarasi with my beautiful dog, Teddy, who's my Bisham doggy, uh, helping me with this video. And I want to talk today about gadolinium. Gadolinium is what is called a contrast agent that really is effective and important in the use of MRIs as we have it today. It really improves the imaging of the MRI. But the problem is gadolinium, contrary to what some uh, sources may be saying, is not completely removed shortly after its infusion. It does not. And we know this factually because I've been treating patients uh, for removal of gadolinium for many years with very accurate measurement of its levels in the urine when it's bound to calcium EDTA. This is a chelating agent which is administered IV and is very helpful in moderately removing gadolinium from the body, which is what I favor. Really rapid removal of any metal can sometimes be a problem in creating disharmony and adverse effects in the body. It's the, it's the primary reason I don't use another agent called DTPA, which does bind to gadolinium well, but is primarily used for uh, toxic exposure to radioactive, radioactive substances such as plutonium, curium, um, and uranium. So I use calcium EDTA as the preferred agent, the safer agent, and um, it is very effective in getting this out of the body. For those who believe that they're having symptoms since their MRI, this may be especially important, but it's important not to forget the possible underlying conditions that might be being revealed by the gadolinium, which is perhaps the, the uh, straw that uh, triggered the symptoms in, uh, in, the, in the first place. So this is kind of an overview on gadolinium removal. It's very successful, it's very effective. Gadolinium does stay around for a long time and can be safely and uh, effectively removed over time. This is Joseph Shabarasi, Integrative and Functional Medicine in West Los Angeles, and I look forward to meeting you. Take care.